Hello and welcome back to episode 185. Today we are going to be teleporting players to coordinates in storage. Now we did something similar before in episode 6 a long time ago where we teleported players to coordinates stored in a scoreboard for them. This time we're going to access the storage, data storage instead. Um, this one is because of a comment by FrostyCore on episode 6 saying he tried the other one on a multiplayer server and it didn't work because that one was targeting nearest player, so you know, whoever was nearest to the command blocks was going to be grabbed. This time we're going to do it a little bit differently, um, just to make things a bit more interesting. So first we're going to have this little row here. Uh, we will say set manually. So this is going to be our little row of commands that are going to set them manually. Uh, and then we will put some commands in there. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to clear the storage each time just so you can see how we clear some storage. Data remove storage and I'm going to want a name. I'm going to call it destination. Uh, I'm going to store it in pause because that makes sense because we want a position. Done. Then I'm going to data modify storage destination pause and I'm going to use append so I'm going to add a value to that so append a value um, let's find a value where should we where should we be going to um, let's get a piece of green wool oh so unprepared and uh, let's put it down here uh, there we go fill do 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 Let's use these coordinates. Uh, paste them in. So we just want the first one, 35. This is going to be our X. And then what I'm actually going to do is uh, say that in chat just so I can see it. 35, 56 and 12. Okay. Let's shift home, copy all of that. Copy. Done. Paste it in there. 56 done and 12 let's paste it in there again and just change that number 12 okay so when we run this we will clear everything that is in destination in our pause and then we will add 35 to it then we will add 56 to it then we'll add 12 to it so if I press that and we do a bit of data get from storage Minecraft destination, yeah, or just destination. Ah, we see in destination we've got the following contents pause 35, 56, and 12. Okay, can we just say destination pause? No, can we say destination pause? Yes, okay, so we've gone straight for pause, and we can probably even say zero, so that'll be our x. There's our x, just 35, one. There's our Y, 56, and 2. There's our Z, 12. Okay, so we've stored those coordinates. Now let's store the player's position, just in case we want to store that. So let's grab that clear block, because we'll clear the whole lot again, because we're appending there. We don't want to add anything extra on the end. So if I, if I just did these commands, I'd, have, um, I'd be adding to the end. So that's why I'm clearing it each time first. This one will set from player pause. Right, first thing we should be doing, have we copied the clear? Yes, we have. We're removing everything. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to data modify storage destination. Yeah. Pause set from entity and here you can pick an entity by tagging it if you want. Uh, this is just a demonstration for this. You don't really have to worry too much. So I'm just going to use me. I'm just going to put at P and we're taking from the pause. Done. Okay, so let's run that. And let's have a look at data. Get storage, Minecraft destination. Okay, you can see it's copied in my coordinates there. If I move. And do that again. 
we'll see they're slightly different. Yes, they are. We've gone from 32 to 36 and from 10 to 11. Okay. Now we want a controller. Boink. Controller. Put the old lever on top. Repeat. So I am first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check if anyone has a certain tag. Uh, if they do, we will start running the commands. If they don't, we're not going to run any of the commands. So we're going to execute if entity any player has a tag uh, tp tp me, then we will start doing some commands. So the first thing we're going to do is execute store result into a block. Okay, which block? Done. Now, we're just going to leave that for the moment because we need a block that we're going to store it into. So we would go to our spawn chunks, maybe hide this underground somewhere, somewhere where people are never going to go. Um, I will put mine here. Why not? Let's get the coordinates of that. Fill, tab, tab, tab. Copy. Then over here, I will uh, make portal. Done. Okay, so we're going to have to make that portal. Set block there. It's going to be an end gateway. And we're going to set exact teleport to 1B. Done. Boing. There he is. Okay. Now, in the last uh, video, episode 6, we, we recreated and removed this portal each time. So you could have a look at that episode if you want to do that. In this version, we're, just, we're going to have that hidden at spawn. We're just going to leave it there all the time. Let's uh, get those coordinates. Execute store result block at those coordinates. Exit portal dot x. It is a double. That's its number type. Uh, we're going to keep the scale the same, so we leave it as one. And we're going to run data get from storage. Which piece of storage? Destination. And in destination, we want the pause. And I want zero. That's not a zero. I want zero. Uh, let's shift home, copy all of that. Done. Now that one is only going to run if it finds an entity with the tag TP me. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one conditional. So this one's only going to run if this one runs, and this one's only going to run if someone's got the tag. Let's paste all of that back in and go to the beginning. And we're just going to remove this tag because we're checking that already in the first one. Execute. We're still storing in the same block, but we want this time to do its Y end, and it's Y we stored in 1. And this time I will copy all of that. Actually, let's go right to the end, copy all of that. Another conditional. We don't want to be running these command blocks unless we have to. Portal Exit portal Z. Pause two. Let's just have a look. Store result exit portal Z. Pause two. Done. Okay. Next one. We are going to execute as any or all players that have the tag equals TP me. Uh, we will run TP them basically into that hole. Do we still have the coordinates for it? No, we don't. <laughs> so we now have to delete all of that. Ah, that was the coordinates just there. Oh, I deleted them. Okay, let's put that back. Delete, delete, delete. Keep the coordinates. Delete, delete, delete. There we go. Okay, so we are executing at anyone with the tag TP me and we're TPing them into that hole. 
and we want that to be conditional. And the next one, also conditional, tag all players remove tp me. Done. Okay. Now if I turn this on, nothing should happen. <laughs> so let's let's put these manually first. Let's set them to manual, so we should be arriving there. Turn it on, nothing happens. Okay, no one's got a tag. Now, if you want to teleport anyone from now on, all you have to do is tag them. And you can tag anyone you like, however you feel like doing it. Uh, I am just going to use tag nearest player because I'm the only person here. Add TP me. Done. Okay. I arrive here basically instantly, but I am going here. So what we're doing is we are setting the X 35, we're setting the Y, we're setting the Z to this block. And then what we're doing is we're saying if anyone's got that tag, then set those coordinates from storage into the exit portal X, the exit portal Y, the exit portal Z of that block, then TP the tagged person, then remove the tags. So we go straight there and we can do set from player pause. Okay, where should we stand? Let's stand, I don't know, here. And now let's uh, add the tag again and we're back up there. Okay, so all you have to do now is anyone you want to teleport, Let's uh, put it back to that. Anyone you want to teleport to those stored coordinates, just give them the tag, back, and they'll go there. Okay, that's it for now. Just a little bit of a change up on the episode six version. Uh, hope you liked it. We will see you next time. Take care. Bye, bye, bye.